Hey everybody, it's Cody again, Bucks Brand Academy. Now that we've created our product catalog on Facebook from our Shopify store, we're going to have to use that for a dynamic product ad on Facebook. As you see, my products are pulled into Facebook from my Shopify store. It will tell you how many products you have there. We're going to go make an ad that populates dynamically on Facebook for anyone who's viewed a product. So we're going to go down here to the ads manager and we're going to choose the account that uh, we want to use in this instance I'm using this as a test so uh, we'll use this uh, ad account we're going to click create campaign now at the campaign level our goal for this is going to be catalog sales we uploaded that catalog from Shopify into Facebook now we're going to use that catalog on our Facebook ads so click catalog sales down here it says uh, which catalog if you hit this drop down there's going to be a ton of catalogs for you choose the catalog that you uploaded the name in this instance we'll leave my uh, Bucks of America catalog there and uh, we're going to choose a campaign name so um, campaign hierarchy levels completely up to you and how you do that in Facebook Let's just say we're going to call this a dynamic product ad. And we're going to say added, added to cart, no purchase. <clears throat> so that's my hierarchy how to do it. Dynamic product ad, add to cart with no purchase. And what that means is that when someone clicks, they come down here to go to bucks of dot com say they click one of my one of my products on here uh, let's just say they click this hat now they come here and they viewed oh yeah this is cool they viewed this product here now what that means is oh man I, I like this product they they viewed the product oh, I like it I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this thing they added to cart there's my my upsell uh, on Shopify yeah I say no thanks now I'm gonna go over here to check out and crap my mom called so I'm gonna go ahead and not you know I'm not gonna buy this right now uh, let me just go ahead and click out of that okay that means I added it to cart and I didn't purchase that's what I just showed you so we're gonna click continue now we're gonna set up our ad uh, which it's gonna ask us which pixels you want to associate with your um, with your catalog and I don't want to associate it with any of those pixels. Um, you want to associate your catalog with the pixel for the Shopify store that you created. Uh, that's another section to create your pixel. But uh, if you don't know what I'm saying, your pixel is going to be here in your online store. Preferences, this will be your pixel right there. So just make sure that this pixel is associated with the catalog that we just uploaded. All right, so now we have uh, our campaign set up. We're going down to our offer, our asset name, uh, completely up to you. I like to set my ad sets based on uh, my targeting options. So uh, which products am I, am I going to choose? Uh, I'm gonna just leave it as uh, the all products because I want anytime someone adds to my, uh, adds something to their cart and doesn't purchase, I want it to pull any of the products on my website, any 16,379 of my products on my website, I want it to be able to pull it dynamically uh, into a Facebook ad. All right, let's scroll down here. We're going to uh, start our ad. So viewed or added cart, but not purchased. So what I like to do is I like to choose the days that I want to do this ad for. So we're running a dynamic product ad, which means that the ad that is going to run on Facebook is going to show what we want it to show from a copy standpoint, but it is going to pull into the image section uh, the product that they added to the cart and did not purchase. And it's going to ask you, well, how long do I want to run that ad for? Uh, how long after did they add to cart and not purchase do I want this ad to run for? Um, to keep going, this is the tab right here that you want to choose. So I like to choose seven day, and I have a seven day retargeting funnel that I can show you on the uh, on how this would work. Awesome, but um, uh, we're going to choose viewed or added to cart, but not purchased. Uh, if you want to do only added to the cart and didn't purchase, 
you can click that obviously only added to cart not purchased there change your days uh, if you so choose uh, in this instance we did added to cart only but not purchased we did not do viewed or added to cart so added to cart and not purchased why we labeled our campaign earlier ATC forward slash NP added to cart not purchased um, it's going to ask you for placements um, if you want to edit your placements where you want this ad to show completely up to you come down here and set your budget the daily budget is r simply going to be based on how many people do you get to your website and how many times can this ad be served to that audience if you drive a thousand people to your website a day and you retarget them with this dynamic product ad then your max reach for this entire ad is going to be a thousand people and your um, ad spend needs to re, you know reflect that so you don't need a really high daily budget for a dynamic product ad so let's just drop that down to ten doll hairs we're gonna optimize this ad delivery for conversion event which is going to be a purchase because after they've added to a cart we know that they're very highly likely to be a purchaser now that they've already added the product to the cart and down here where it says conversion window seven days clicked that corresponds up here with uh, if they've added in the last seven days so uh, this right here does not have to correspond with this right here this means this is going to give seven days uh, the window you choose here is seven days from the time that they did this action uh, which is added to the cart and didn't purchase up here means uh, how many of the previous days did they do this so you can do the last 14 days last 21 days uh, the last 10 days if you only want to serve ads this ad set to or this ad excuse me to per people who have only added to cart the previous day then just do two last two days and uh, your bid strategies up to you uh, I like to just put lowest cost uh, makes most sense to me and I'm going to click continue. Uh, what you're going to do here is you're going to do a single image. And I suggest single image because it's only going to pull in the one product that's in the cart. If they have multiple products, a carousel ad would be great. But most often, and what I found is that most people will have a majority of them will be just one product. So we only want to have one product be dynamically pulled. So that's key single image first. Make sure you choose your business page you wanted I want this to come from my box of America link to my Instagram account and uh, a new feature says uh, add an overlay I don't like add no overlays yet uh, completely up to you now this website URL here's the important part what website do you want them to go to when they click your dynamic product ad in this instance it was pulling in the my uh, other Shopify store Alaska uh, because I had it up there uh, so it's automatically pulling that in so we're not going to do that we're going to choose um, we're going to choose anybody who's gone to bucksof.com and this is important part here choose that and we're going to do forward slash cart oh, excuse me bucksof.com copy that forward slash cart now what that means is that you're gonna send them directly to this URL on your website this is an important piece because if they click this ad it pulls in the product that they last viewed and they come over here and they just land on your website uh, all it's gonna do is it's gonna show and I'll show you that means they would just land on your website right here let's go over here bucks of.com if I land on this website it's gonna be like this and they're gonna be on the home page it's gonna be like, uh, what does this mean? You know, I, I just saw my product that I had. What do I do now? Well, if you look up here, it says added, they have in the cart. This is the same cart that I added to earlier. So, what we want to do is we want to have a higher conversion rate for those people to click that ad and buy. So, instead of just sending them directly to the home page, let's send them to that forward slash cart page. And I added forward slash cart, as you can see. Uh, on my website, I put forward slash cart and it brings them to the actual shopping cart. So, what's that mean? That means that this website right here, if I copy that and I come up here and look at my website there, copy and paste that into 
It takes me right to the cart section, which is important because if they've viewed this product, added it to cart, and then did not purchase, the way to get them to purchase the fastest from a Facebook ad on dynamic pro uh, product ad retargeting is to send them directly back to the cart at which they just added this product uh, into their cart and then abandoned earlier. So this abandoned cart sequence on Facebook, dynamic product ads, you're pushing them to their abandoned cart inside their Shopify store via a dynamic product ad. Uh, click out of that. Okay. So this forward slash cart feature is important for your Shopify store uh, for your conversions. You can test sending them to the uh, product page. You can test sending them to a landing page. Maybe they might add more products to their uh, cart and then check out. But you'll have higher conversions when you just send that last person who added to the cart and didn't purchase. Uh, higher conversions on this dynamic product ad by just sending them directly to the cart they missed. All right, so if you do not uh, add text in here or headlines, then it's going to look, it's going to pull in your uh, beta, uh, meta tag from your store and it's going to be blank there. We don't want to leave it blank. So in our text, we're going to want to have a really cool, um, you know, hey, we saw you added this. So, hey, we saw you added this product to your cart and didn't oh not add and didn't finish your checkout let's do a line would you like to save 10% now by ordering today and then down here in the headline you can put 10% uh, off with code um, you know code 10 so this is what the ad will be what this means is this ad will pop up on the on your person's feed. They'll see, hey, uh, and talking to them, hey, we saw you added this product to your cart and didn't finish your checkout. We like to say 10% now by ordering today. Yeah, I like to. Awesome. 10% off with code Cody10. Now, cool. All right, Cody10. I'm going to use that much. They click that shop now. They're going to hit that shop now button and it's going to come over here to that forward slash cart button. Oh, awesome. Now, where do I put Cody 10 at? I'm going to go to checkout. I love this. And they're going to hit that discount button there. Type in that Cody 10. Click apply there. And it's going to take off 10%. Your customer is on their way to purchasing stuff from you now from this dynamic product ad. <clears throat> your last uh, couple things to do for your dynamic product ad is to choose the call to action. I like to do the shop now or... Matter of fact, I like to use the the word um, uh, where's it at? Uh, uh, open link, which means open your cart link. If you want to use some copy up here that says you know uh, you know see your cart now, something like that. Open the link would be a cool one. Um, and if you're pulling in a you know a product that's a digital product on Shopify, you can do a sign up. You know maybe that's a sign up for your digital product or whatever. But I use that shop now and that's it we would hit confirm right there and that product ad is going to go into Facebook and start running when it gets approved uh, that is it for setting up a dynamic product ad using Facebook and Shopify uh, that's as simple and as easy as it gets um, uh, that and I have a ton more other uh, videos explaining this if you want to be walked through you can always join us at the uh, Bucks Brand Academy uh, Bucks Brand Shopify Academy on Facebook and uh, you'll see oh our ads approved that is it thank you guys